All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are doing a ration taste test. Again, I haven't done one of these in a while now, so this is gonna be very exciting. Today we have a German EPA, which is like a 24 hour ration. So of course, in the US, we have MREs, but we also have 24 hour rations as well. You don't see them as much, they're not as common, they don't get issued out as much. So 24 hour rations are pretty cool to check out from my perspective, just because it's nice to get like a whole day's worth of supply in one little box right here. Well, I say little, but it's pretty, pretty big, pretty hefty. But again, you have to consider this as opposed to carrying like three traditional US MREs, there's a big difference for sure. This is a lot easier to pack out. So this is a type three ration. On the top it says, I'm unpacking. I'm unpacking a ration, am I right? <laughs> okay, well all jokes aside, yeah, I'm excited to get into this one. I'm not sure what comes in a, a type three ration. And again, I'm not really too familiar with German cuisine in general. So this is going to be very exciting. So we'll get all the, the stuff out and then uh, yeah, we'll start trying some stuff. So let's do it. So it's just like a pretty, pretty basic cardboard box. Again, I got this from MRE Mountain. They have a lot of cool stuff as far as rare rations or stuff that's just hard to get from the, the US perspective. Stuff that you wouldn't see in the US market. Okay, so I think we can do this. We'll just open it up like that. Ooh, very, uh, very shiny. If you guys can't see, a lot of reflective silvery stuff there. Yeah, so we'll just start taking some of this stuff out. This is an isotonic drink. It looks like Orangen Geschmack. <laughs> the German language is, is, is just insane. So this is another isotonic drink. So we'll put the drink stuff right there. This is um, Streichholzbrief. <laughs> the most American way of saying that, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. Maybe like a napkin. I mean, the packaging is very, very fancy. And from, from a Marine's pr perspective, I like it because it's all very, very shiny. Another drink, this is exotic. Exotic, get, get schmack. Another drink, okay, so this one's grapefruit. There's a lot of drinks. I mean, what, that's like four isotonic drinks. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of those because they generally don't taste very good. They're very artificial tasting. And yeah, they usually don't mix too well either. And it just requires a lot of water, kind of a pain in the ass. Usually not worth it from, from my point of view. Okay, we have Roggen Schrottbrot. So, ew, I'm not sure what that sounds like, but it's like a little thing in a can. So we'll see what that is. We have a uh, fruit mix exotic. Okay, so that, that'll be nice. I don't, so this is a 24 hour ration. So we're probably gonna see some like breakfast items, some lunch items, and then also like the, the main meal kind of stuff. Okay, so next we have, ooh, cookies. Okay, so it looks like we got some cookies there. That's nice. We have some gemuse boy, bolan, bolan, I don't know. Dude, I'm just gonna stop trying to pronounce this, but it sounds like a powder. It's got a lot of ingredients, so I have no idea what these would be. Okay. <laughs> That's the, like the, the weird thing with, with German. It's not going to be easy to translate any of this stuff. So I have no idea what we're looking at right now. The drinks are a little bit easier because you know you can see grapefruit and orange, but some of this stuff, like this right here, Geflugla, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's like some sort of, maybe like peanut butter kind of thing or some sort of spread. But yeah, so I think we have two of these. I oh, know. Okay, so these are different. This is like a tom so this is like a tomato cream. So maybe like um, I don't know, like a sauce or something. So we have those. We have some. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Schwarz jo Johannes Beeren. Yeah. The German and English languages are so different from each other. So we have this. Looks like uh, maybe like an apricot sort of thing. Maybe like a jam. We have some, ooh, I see chilies, and you guys already know I love spicy stuff, so I think this is like a weird chili spread. It's not like a hot sauce, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have that. We have some bars here. Looks like some chocolate bars. Okay. Chocolade, chocolade, <laughs> nice. Okay, so we have that. All right, that'll be exciting. Let's chase some, uh, some German chocolate. Is German chocolate even good? I honestly don't know. This says cookies, but it's like, 
a hard bar, so maybe like a, a, a cookies and cream kind of bar or something. This is a chocolate one. Okay, so those are very, very dense. So that'll be some like, I guess some energy bars. We have some thun fish. So maybe some uh, tuna fish, I guess, with limet and pfeffer. So I think this is tuna with lemon and pepper. <laughs> But again, the German language is just so, it's just so funny to me. It, everything just seems so aggressive. All right, we got another one of those chocolate bars there. Um, we have some, oh man, these these poppy seed bars, or I, I, sorry, these sesame seed bars, they taste okay, but they're usually super, super hard. But okay, I mean, we'll try it out. It's pretty good. It tastes pretty solid from the last one I remember eating. Okay, and then we have um, yeah, some lightweight food kind of stuff. So I'm not sure what is in here. Sounds like a, maybe like an oatmeal or a muesli. So that's pretty cool. Little travel thing there. We have a fruit desserts, apple and maybe apricot. So I think that might also be like a, a fruit muesli or something. All right, let's see. We have the accessory packet. Okay, let's get into this. This is all like super neat and tidy. I gotta say it's like, it uses the, the space pretty well in that box. And then we have this nice Ziploc bag. Tuppets, is that your guys' Ziploc? Hmm, okay. So we have some water purification tablets, that's always handy. We have some, some cafe, so I think this is some instant coffee. Definitely gonna have to try that out. I think this is just like a, a wet nap or something. We have, what's this? Ooh. Simpert's writer, I don't know, Cafe Weber. So maybe some more coffee, some instant coffee. I see cafe and it makes it seem like it's, it's coffee. Uh, okay, we have some, some tea, spelled T-E-E, -E, interesting, uh, extract. Okay, so I guess that's like some tea. We'll, we'll try some German tea out. I don't know how good German tea will be, but hey, I'm always down to try some tea. You guys already know that. We have some more of that, uh, Cafe Weeb, Weeber, I don't know. I don't know what letter that is. We have, ooh, okay, so this is a little, a cappuccino mix. So that sounds pretty good. I wonder what kind of cappuccino that is. Okay, fancy. We got some sugar, some Zucker Inhalt. And then the last couple items, we have chili sin carne. So I guess that's like chili with, with meat. So, all right, I like that. That sounds pretty good. Sounds kind of spicy. And then we have, we have Hun, Huner Frikasi. All right, so we have that. We have our, our meals there. And then, yeah, I guess we have just like um, a sheet that says everything. Oh, snap, we have a, we have a translation, I think. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's, yeah, I mean, it does help. So yeah, we have the sesame seed bar. Uh, the tea extract was tea extract. So that helps. The coffee was coffee extract, cappuccino. Um, yep, drinking powder. Okay, so I think we got most of this stuff right, but I mean, of course, we're gonna have to open a lot of this stuff anyway just to figure it out. So we'll start with some of the easier stuff. So maybe like the bars and the chocolates and, um, and then the fruit, so let's do that. All right, y'all, so we are going to start with this, uh, I guess it's like a chocolate protein bar or something like that, so. Again, the packaging isn't trying to be impressive, but I would hate to drop this in the field because I think you could probably spot this about a mile away. Okay, so yeah, it did feel pretty dense and it looks pretty dense as well. You always have to do the smell check. That actually smells really good. So this is like a, I mean, like a chocolate energy bar, or protein bar or something. It smells really good. It smells like really solid milk chocolate, like a Cadbury dairy milk. That's pretty much my only good example of of nice milk chocolate, like maybe a Toblerone as well. So yeah, let's try it out. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. It wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be to actually bite into it, but I mean, it's got a good chocolate flavor, not really like milk chocolate, kind of stuck into my teeth a little bit, but that would be an awesome thing. Again, it's nice to have things in rations that you can just chuck in your pocket. So if you need to like make a little break or, you know, stop on a movement, you can take it out of your pocket and eat it pretty easily. So this is one of those things that would be really, really nice for that. And at the same time, if you wake up 
and you know eat something like this it'll fill you up it'll keep you going for a decent amount of time and this is a 24-hour ration there's a lot of stuff in here but i mean I, I don't think you have any issues having enough energy to do what you're trying to do okay so this is uh this looks like the, z the same kind of bar but it's called cookies so it might be like a cookies and cream kind of one yeah okay now i think it's like a chocolate chip kind of bar so if you ever had a power bar, if you guys are from the US or if you guys have power bars where you're from, this is what these are like. So you can see it's just like brown. It's got the chocolate chips. So yeah, let's try it out. <laughs> yeah, it tastes almost exactly like a power bar, which is good. I mean, again, the protein in here is probably pretty high as well. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. They put that many calories in one bar. So again, yeah, you're not really too concerned with counting calories when you're out in the field or in a deployed environment. If you're in like a combat theater, especially, you're not gonna be too concerned with calories. All right, those are good. All right, let's check out the chocolates. Let's see how German chocolate is. I still have that um, Suka Cola, whatever, that like caffeinated chocolate. I still have that that I need to try. So I might just do that in this video. Why not? I'll do it towards the end or something. Okay, so pretty weird shape there. It smells like it smells like a Hershey bar to be honest. Doesn't smell that great, but let's try it. It is good, though it does kind of taste like a Hershey bar. It's more sugar than chocolate. And there's not like a good mix of like milk and chocolate and sugar. It's kind of just chocolate with a lot of sugar, which you know is nice, especially if you're out in the field, you need a little pick me up. This will do the job. I mean, but the thing with rations, especially if you're working with other military, militaries, is you can always like talk up your stuff. You can be like, yeah, this is really, really good. So I'll trade you this for that and probably get something tastier out of the out of the transaction. So there's always that. So there's way to there's ways to finesse the the whole MRE market. Okay, so now we have cookies, mitts, cacao. So I guess some sort of like chocolate cookies or maybe just cookies with chocolate. So this is like a foil bag there. Ooh, this looks like, it looks like dog food. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, it looks like dog food, which is interesting. It just smells like, um, it, it's like a Teddy Grahams. If you guys ever had Teddy Grahams, uh, that might be an American thing, I'm not really too sure. But if you had Teddy Grahams, that's kind of like what this is like. So yeah, let's try it. So I'm not really sure what the shape of these is supposed to be, maybe like a cocoa bean or something, but you'll see this a lot in US rations. Well, they'll, they'll take something that's, you know, a normal product in the commercial market and they'll just rebrand it or repackage it for the, for the ration. So you see that every now and again, but yeah, I'm not really sure if these are popular in Germany otherwise, but it kind of tastes like Teddy Grahams, but it also kind of tastes like our, our patriotic sugar cookies, if you guys have ever seen those, but. Yeah, not bad. I'm always super paranoid. I'm gonna get like some stuff stuck in my teeth and it's gonna be like that the entire video. All right, let's check out this exotic fruit. Again, it's kind of funny hearing the term exotic from like other countries. Again, a fruit that isn't grown in your country would probably be like exotic. But when I think of exotic fruit, again, it's like passion fruit or dragon fruit, maybe like star fruit, but it might just be talking about like tropical stuff like pineapple and banana and whatnot so okay so we've kind of seen this we've kind of seen this previously u.s rations don't really do this where they kind of get like it, they almost get like a fruit jelly and they just make it like they just like harden it so i'm not sure what fruits we have here but yeah it's pretty much it. it's like fruit crumbles that are you know hard but like pretty chewy so yeah let's try it oh yeah that's solid so we have sugar we have sugar, banana, cranberries, um, banana, but longer, <laughs> uh, some citrusy stuff. So maybe like, um, so we got papayas. Okay. So yeah, it is just like relatively tropical fruits ish, but yeah, that's really good. Especially like the, the cranberries and everything, they balance each other out really well. And it's not like there, I'm sure there's some added sugar, but it's not like overbearing to where you won't want to eat it. Cause you'll have like some fruit products where they just dump, dump a bunch of sugar in there to try and increase the flavor. And then it just gets like, you know, you eat it and you just feel like bad. You feel like unhealthy eating fruit, which shouldn't be the case. Okay, so we had 
these already. Let's try the sesame bar. Again, it was pretty hard last time we, we had it. And I think you guys are telling me that uh, at least one person told me their buddy broke their tooth on it one time, which is not something you wanna have happen in the field. So I'm not sure if these are the best thing. Again, they're very stuck together. It seems pretty firm. So, I mean, we'll try it out. I'm not gonna try too much of this cause it's probably gonna start hurting my jaw. I mean, I don't get it. I really don't. Sesame seeds might be good on like, um, like bread or something, maybe like a bun or a burger. But as a bar, I just don't get it. Maybe it's just like really high in, in like calories and protein or fat, but there's plenty of good, like there's plenty of good nuts out there. Like cashews are good, almonds are good. We have those in US rations. We have peanuts as well. Those are good for just getting a lot of fat. So I don't really know the, I don't really understand the whole obsession with the sesame bar. So if you guys maybe understand a little bit more of the context for why these are put in rations or why they're healthy or why they would be a good choice, throw it down in the comments section because it just confuses me. It's very sticky and it doesn't taste that great to be honest. Okay, so what I wanna do now is try these little packets. Cause again, I didn't really, I didn't like decipher what these are but I just wanna open them up and try it. Now, something I did notice is we didn't get a spoon and that kind of sucks. Normally we get like a spork or a spoon or something, but kind of let down, it kind of sucks. I was trying to add one to my collection, but okay. So we're trying to open this one. It says uh, Schwartz Johannes Beeren Confiter Extra. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll open it up and see what it is. Okay, so this is like a, a jelly spread. Maybe like, uh, I think it's like strawberry spread. Oh yeah, that's that's thick. And it's very dark too, so I guess it's probably pretty condensed. Okay, so I got my little spork here. I think we got this in the French ration, but this is really cool. I think it's the perfect thing to try and test this out. So again, I think this is like a strawberry jelly or maybe jam. It looks like it's got seeds in it, so let's try it. I mean, it's very sour. I don't know if it is actually strawberry, to be honest. Again, I'm just trying to wing it here, but it's very sour. I mean, I guess it'd be pretty good if you put it on certain items, but I'm not a huge fan of, of mixing flavors, to be honest. I kind of like bland food. Okay, so this is apricotin confitur extra. So I guess this is like an apricot spread. You can kind of see it there. It's like a little bit lighter. We don't really have like a whole bunch of apricots or apricot, however you want to say it. We don't have a whole lot of stuff like that in the US. I gotta say like the first time I think I had apricot or apricot was in these rations. And I think like every time we open a ration, there's something that has it. So I don't know why there's like so many apricot things in these rations, but it's kind of weird. It's just weird to me, especially as an American, we always like to do watermelon or strawberry or apple, grape. Not really apricot, but we'll try it out. That one was a little bit better. Not nearly as um, sour and pretty smooth. Um, yeah, it kind of tastes like a peach. I don't think I'm, I don't even know what an apricot looks like. Does it look like a mango or maybe like a peach? I don't know. I'll post a picture. So next is the Roggen Schradbrot Geschnitten. No idea, but it sounds like a solid thing in a can. So what if it was like that shrimp stuff from Sweden and it just stunk? Oh, this is so weird. It's like, um, is this like a burger kind of thing? It just looks like weird beef or something. It's like a, a beef puck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to eat this. It's really firm. I don't know how you're supposed to eat this. I probably look like an idiot right now, but I mean, oh yeah, it is. It's like, oh, it's like corned beef maybe. I don't know, I'll take a bite. I'm not gonna try too much of this. I gotta say it's pretty gross. No offense if you guys like love that. I don't know what it is. It might taste better if you put like a spread on it, but Ooh, it's so weird. It's like, it's kind of like refreshing in a weird way. It's like a veggie burger. 
If you made like a decent veggie burger and just made it super dry, that's kind of what it tastes like. So I don't know what that was made out of, if it was like made out of like plant byproduct or like beans or something, but I don't know, okay. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot left. We have like the accessory stuff. We have the tea, we have the coffee, and then we have some of the bigger items. So what I want to do now is we'll try out this fruit dessert and then we'll try out this travel lunch, Aqua Plus. I don't know what that means. And then we'll make the tea, coffee, and the cappuccino. The isotonic drinks, I gotta say, I'm not gonna try them because they all kind of taste the same, not gonna lie. So yeah, we'll just leave those uh, by themselves. Sorry, isotonic drinks, not a fan. Okay, so I have the beverages. So we have the tea, the coffee, and the cappuccino right here. And then we'll do all this stuff last, like the main meal stuff. And then we'll also try that, that fancy caffeinated chocolate later. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try some of this stuff. I mean, tuna with lemon and pepper is pretty synonymous everywhere you go. So we'll set that off to the side. Again, we'll try this stuff a little bit later. And then, um, yeah, I guess we can... We can try the gum, but before I do that, I'm also gonna try this weird chili stuff. See see if it's spicy, because I know like that, uh, what was it? The hot diggity dog hot sauce and the British ration. This might taste really disgusting if I do it like this, but. Hmm. That thing, st that thing snuck up on me. I gotta say, it was uh, a lot spicier than I was expecting, because I kind of just, you know, downed it real quick. And yeah, that was a, uh, that was interesting. Okay, so we have the tea extract. So I think I mixed this with 400 or 450 milliliters. So kind of a lot, I have to say. So I added some sugar. It is very, very hot, but I'll try it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they're, we'll see how the German tea is. Uh, yeah, it's very generic. Um, it kind of tastes like Lipton tea which is not good tea. It's like America's favorite tea. That doesn't really mean a whole lot because it is America. I mean, we dump that stuff in harbors, so we don't have a whole lot of respect for tea. That tastes like Lipton tea. So sorry, Germans, but your, your ration tea isn't very good. I don't think that's saying much because it is ration tea, but I don't know, the British ration had some pretty good tea. So we'll try the, the coffee now. I think we mix this with 300 milliliters. So let's try this out. Pretty. Pretty dark coffee. Let's see if I can show you guys without pouring it out on my table. Yeah, if you guys can see it, but it's very, very dark. I'll say that, so we'll try it. I mean, it smells pretty decent, so. Ooh, that's really good, actually. So I added a packet of uh, sugar, the sugar that we actually got from the ration. I added a packet in here, so, you know, there's a lot of sugar in it, but it does taste pretty smooth. It's like, it's sweet because of the sugar, but it's not like overly bitter. Like the coffee itself isn't bitter. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, honestly, it tastes like kind of like our cappuccino drink already in our US ration. So that's some really good instant coffee. I'll say that. Okay, the cappuccino itself. So again, I'll try and show you guys without pouring it out. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a nice color to it and it's pretty foamy. Kind of looks like um, like a hot chocolate, but this was mixed with 250 milliliters. So let's try it out. Ew. I think the, the coffee tastes more like a cappuccino than the cappuccino does, which is weird. It doesn't, it kind of just tastes like hot foam with like a hint of coffee. There's not a whole lot. I think maybe, let's try this. Yep, I knew that would happen, but it's it's okay. It's it's for science, right? So let's try this little concoction. Of course, you have concoctions and mixtures with all these rations. People sort of just come up with whatever they think is going to be interesting at the time. And a lot of times it turns out pretty well. So let's see if this helps it at all. Yeah, it definitely helped it. It was just mixing a it was missing a coffee flavor, which is weird because it's a cappuccino but it just tasted like hot foam. If you actually add some, some proper coffee to it. So I don't know what kind of concoctions y'all do with the, uh, the German EPA. So 
If I missed any good combinations, throw it down in the comment section. Maybe if I get another one in the future, I can uh, try and do that. But yeah, it's always cool to hear the weird concoctions. In the US rations, I stayed away from them because a lot of the items in general are pretty bad. Like people would put like jalapeno cheese spread on their crackers or with their tortillas, mix it with like rice and beans or like refried beans. I don't know. It was just, it was weird. I wasn't a fan of it. Okay, so we tried that out. Next we'll try this and then we'll try some of the gum as like a palate cleanser before we get into the bigger items. And we'll finish off with those and then that's cool caffeinated chocolate that came with our French ration. So yeah. Oh, okay. Uh oh. I thought this was gonna be like a chili thing, but it looks like looks like a weird cheese thing. Ew! It looks like you guys ever seen Kraft Singles? <laughs> it's like a like American cheese. It's the most disgusting thing ever. It's like plastic cheese. This kind of looks like that. I mean, all right, we'll try it. This might be really disgusting. What? Where's the chili? It's just gross cheese. All right, <clears throat> ew, I hate, I hate cheese. I gotta say, a lot of Americans love cheese. A lot of Americans love chocolates. I mean, I'm not really one of them. I'll mess with dark chocolate and some really nice milk chocolate every now and again, but cheese especially, I stay away from. Not a huge fan. All right, so let's try the gum. I mean, it's gum, so. It's nice to have gum, I'll say that. I always chew the gum in US rations. People say it makes you, you know, go to the bathroom. Not really true, so. Sweet. Get rid of uh, that flavor. Okay, so we have the last few items, which are the fruit desserts, the chili with meat, the huna fricasse, and then the uh, travel lunch lightweight food thing. <laughs> so we'll finish off with those and then we have the shoka cola which sounds very finished for some reason i was like why is this in a french ration but i think mre mountain just sent it as well but that will be pretty cool i think this is like pretty old i think it was like made in world war ii or something could be completely wrong on that so if i do any say anything that's a uh, complete nonsense feel free to correct me down in the comment section i do appreciate it so yeah, pretty cool, pretty iconic there. So yeah, we'll finish up with this stuff. All right, y'all, so it is the next day. We have the main meals out, and then we have the granola, and then this stuff, which I thought was granola as well, but it seems like, because I don't really see any instructions, it kind of just seems like it's like freeze-dried, well, not really freeze-dried, but just like dried fruit or something. So yeah, it's basically what it looks like there. So, I mean, I guess I'll just try this out by itself, but it's not really anything special. I don't know if you're supposed to add water to this, but it doesn't look like it, so we'll try it. That's pretty good. Again, it's nice to have a lot of fruit stuff in the rations. US rations has a pretty big lack of fruit, to be honest. Okay, so we have the granola here, so I think you just add like 80 milliliters of hot water, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, and that's because there isn't really a whole lot in here so you let it sit for about four minutes but yeah if you guys can see on the inside there's not really a whole lot in there so i mean it is nice to have in the morning but normally when you see granola meals like this there's usually a lot more so i mean we'll try it out we'll see how good it is this kind of stuff is pretty filling so i guess you don't really need too much but yeah let's see how it tastes It's kind of just like a boring granola, to be honest. It's got a little bit of the, like the milk inside, but there's really not so much. So there's not a whole lot of flavor going on in there. There's also not a whole lot of ingredients, it seems. So, I mean, it's okay. Again, it would be a nice thing to have in the morning, but nothing spectacular. Okay, so now we will try the chili with meat. And I don't know, I, I don't even know if, I've never had like chili by itself. I've usually had it in like rations or something, but this is very interesting and i've never had chili with beans in it either so this is going to be a first for me and i don't know if the a ration chili with beans is going to be the the best thing i should be trying first but yeah we'll uh, we'll give it a shot hmm yeah it's good 
It's really good. It actually doesn't taste like um, a ration meal because you'll have like a lot of stuff, especially when it has like, you know, chili sauce or some sort of like tomato sauce. It tastes very much the same regardless of whatever ration you're actually eating. But this is like, it's solid. It tastes like not really restaurant quality, of course. It's, that's kind of hard to match, but it tastes like something you'd probably get in a store and prepare at your house. So really not too bad, I gotta say. And the, you know, the beans are good. The corn is a good consistency. Nothing seems like old or expired. It just seems like, yeah, relatively nice quality. So I have to say, and this might be weird for a lot of my viewers, but I haven't had, I haven't had beans in, I don't know, like 10 years. I just, I don't eat them. I just, I don't buy them. I don't eat them. I don't eat stuff with them in it. So yeah, kind of weird. I mean, I kind of forget what beans taste like and they're really solid. And those are, those are good. Again, those aren't like expired or anything weird. All right, and then we have this weird gruel looking stuff. I guess it's like a, like a vegetable kind of stew thing. But yeah, you can see there's peas in there. There's maybe, I think like lentils maybe, some other veggies. And then it looks like a little bit of chicken in there. So yeah, it doesn't smell the greatest. It smells like a ration meal that people wouldn't want to, to grab out of the box. But I mean, we'll give it a shot. See how it tastes. <laughs> hmm. It tastes a lot better than it smells. I will say that. It's also like with both of these, of, of course, it's hard to make a good shelf stable meal, but both of these seem like really good. Like the ingredients are good whenever you prepare it. I mean, I did prepare it in a microwave, so that kind of helps. But even if you had like a flameless ration heater, or something i think it would warm it up enough but yeah it's like with us rations you'll be eating some of the stuff and the texture is very different you have something that seems a lot fresher than something else it's just, it seems like all these ingredients are relatively on the same sort of freshness level if that makes any sense so you're not getting any weird textures that are sticking out so i like it it's actually uh it's a lot like creamier and a lot more flavorful than i was expecting again these ration videos are so cool because I would never try any of this stuff here, but I mean, just you know, forcing myself to eat it for these videos is is awesome. It kind of opens my eyes because I'm I'm a relatively picky eater, but forcing myself to eat all this different stuff kind of opens my eyes to you know I I might actually like different stuff, stuff that I don't normally eat. So that's always really cool. Okay, so we'll set this stuff to the side so it's not messing with the taste buds too much, and then we have this. This Sh Shoka Cola. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I sound like I'm pretty intelligent by pronouncing it that way. So we'll remove this plastic and see what it looks like. So again, I think this is just like um, a caffeinated chocolate or something. So yeah, okay. The tin just opens up like that. It's got a nice little piece of paper. That looks really cool. So it's like in small pieces it looks like there's actually yeah there's two layers to it yeah so you can see there's another piece of paper under these underneath those pieces and then there's more on the bottom i like how they're pre-cut like that that's actually really cool so it smells like a really solid dark chocolate if you guys don't know i'm a huge fan of dark chocolates i don't know i read like a book one time and someone just made dark chocolate sound super cool and super posh so I just, I tried it and I was like, dang, this is, this is really legit. So I don't know what cocoa percentage or, you know, cocoa content this chocolate actually is. It looks like 58%. It really isn't a whole lot, but okay. Caffeinated chocolate. I don't, I mean, dark chocolate already has caffeine in it, but something gets more caffeinated sounds pretty cool. So let's try it out. You're supposed to let dark chocolate melt in your mouth. That's how you really enjoy it. A lot of times in rations and whatnot, when you have caffeinated stuff, it tastes caffeinated. Like caffeinated gum is the most like disgusting thing. Cause you just, you taste it. You taste how they added some stuff to it. And it makes it weird, but this just tastes like dark chocolate. And I don't know if it's got like a specific Caffeine amounts added to it or if people just use it for a little bit of caffeine because it's like a dark chocolate But I have to say that was just a really smooth 
dark chocolate. I don't know if Germany is famous for their chocolate. I think Belgium is famous for chocolate. If this was in stores, honestly, if this was in US stores, I would buy it normally, which again, for ration items means a lot to say. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be looking for this, this stuff in a store, but now that I'm actually trying this stuff from these MRE videos, it kind of like opens my perspective as to like what I'm actually looking for. Cause you know, you go to a store, you're looking for certain things, you go and buy it and you know, that's how it is. Unless you're going to like Walmart or something. Cause I don't know what they do, but they just play these mind games to where you go for a, like a, a bottle of milk and all of a sudden you have like a cart full of stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of people that are in retail that'll probably understand the mind games with that. But yeah, this was a really, really solid ration. A lot of really cool items and a lot of stuff that I was kind of surprised. Like those power bars are an awesome thing. And just like the, the quality of, of the bar itself was, was solid. A lot of like MRE bars like that are usually like super hard or not really very flavorful. And we've seen it with like the Norwegian ration. It can be pretty surprising some of the, the quality of stuff you can get in these rations. But, but these main meals especially surprised me because I really didn't think I was going to like them. But yeah, these ration videos are so much fun. Again, they do a great job of taking me out of my comfort zone. I mean, my YouTube videos already kind of do that because you guys recommend a lot of videos I would normally think to check out. And it's always cool to sort of take something away from that. Like this is really cool. I, I am interested in a lot of other things that I wouldn't normally check out. And these ration videos just do a good job of that because I can sort of take away things as far as like, yeah, I wouldn't normally try this stuff, but it is actually pretty good. So I love doing these videos. I do have a Dutch ration, so I will be doing a video for that. So we also have another French ration that we got a while back that I need to do a little uh, taste test of. So yeah, we'll, we'll try and get those in the works. I know you guys like the ration videos and I love doing them too. So I'm glad, I'm glad it works out. We have a little mutual relationship going on there, but thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you have any other recommendations for any sort of videos, feel free to throw it down in the comment section. I'm pretty much open for, for anything that's relatively military related, or you know, if I can push it a little bit, I'm totally fine with that too. But yeah, these videos are a lot of fun. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up and commenting and subscribing, talking to the Discord. I do appreciate you guys. But thank you for watching the video. That is it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next one.